guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> I know I wasn't actually gone, but I think I was physically gone. I'm making no sense. You guys had videos last week, but I didn't actually get to sit down and film last week because hanging out with Caitlin, I told you it was her 25th and she came to visit. So I feel like it's been forever, even though it's only been two weeks. So yay, back. And let's come back with style. Let's come back with a lipstick video. Um, I had a lot of fun doing my Illamasqua uh, eyeshadow demo review thing last, uh, last week for you guys. Don't focus, right? Okay. Sorry, my camera. Um, so I thought I'd do a lipstick uh, review and demo. So uh, let me try to think of things I should tell you before I show you the swatches. I did lip swatches and then swatches on my hand. But um, a couple things about the lipsticks, I guess, before we jump into it. So the lipsticks are $24 US or $30 Canadian. So they're a little bit on the pricier side, definitely. You get four grams of product. You can get them off the Sephora website, some Sephora stores that carry La Masca, obviously. Um, Bloomingdale department stores that, that carry La Masca. The Bay in Canada department stores. The Bay.com now, I just checked last week for you guys, they have them. Uh, where else? The Ilamasca store, obviously, itself, and the Ilamasca website. So in the Ilamasca website, anything over 50 pounds, like if your order is over 50 pounds, the shipping is free. So that's really great because shipping out of the UK can get expensive. So it's nice that they offer that uh, for you guys. Uh, what else? What else? What else? These are super, super matte lipsticks. Like, sometimes when I put them on, I feel like it's, I'm taking like almost like a Crayola, um, like crayon to my lips. Not in a bad way. Like... My MAC ones, some of my MAC ones, that really lovely dark one that I wore in my January favorites from the Rihanna collection, that one like tugs at my lips. Um, these guys don't tug, they're just very, very um, dry, like again, almost like Crayola-y in, in feel. The trick that I've been using that's honestly really, really helped me um, put them on smoother is using like a lip chap or like the MAC Prep and Prime for lips, like just anything to get a little bit of, of, of moisture on your lips beforehand, that'll help them glide right on. And they're not super drying, like for a lipstick that's this matte, they're not super drying, which I really, really like. Uh, what else should I tell you about them? They all come in the black, um, like the black Illamasqua packaging. Um, so it has, if this camera will focus. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Um, it has the Illamasqua name and it's black and then it's got those like corners on it like the uh, like the eyeshadow uh, quads and, and singles. So that's the packaging. Um, I really like these lipsticks. I love a matte lip though so I'm partial to that and I love the color payoff you get off of them. Uh, I will take you through the set that I have. So I got a set of six. Um, in like a winter gift set that they had. One of the colors that I'll tell you about was limited edition. The rest you can buy on their own. And then the one I'm wearing today was one that I specifically bought because it's one of those colors that um, you can't really get anywhere else. Who else makes a dark navy lipstick? Um, and what I like about it is it's not a black, but it's still a nice dark color. And you guys know how I feel about lipstick, right? <laughs> so I guess let's just jump into it before I keep talking. If you have any questions that I haven't answered, obviously leave those down below for me um, and let me know. Yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, so the first one that I have, okay, right, so it's um, Plunge. As so, you see in the swatch, on my lips and, and on my hands. It's this beautiful uh, baby pink color. It's similar, it reminds me of um, Max Saint Germain. It's a beautiful baby pink, uh, and I have problems with baby pink. I feel like they wash me out sometimes. I struggle with them, but this guy I really, really like. Um, and I don't think there's anything else to say. <laughs> um, it's a great color, it's a lovely color. It's a nice and matte, like the rest of these shades. So that's Plunge. I'll list the names, too, down below in the description box um, so that you guys can look at that if that helps. Wow, I can't speak. Okay, can I ever get through a video without, like, stumbling all over my words? I doubt it. The next one is Fable, which, um, which is, uh, like a pinkish, a pinkish color. It reminds me of the, do you guys remember the Nikki Viva Glam 1? She came out with two, right? One was that like that pale lavender color, which I adore, and the other one was the pink one. I think it's the one. So it's just this really lovely pink color. Um, again, I don't have a problem with it um, applying. I don't have a problem with the color payoff. I really, really like this color. Um, 
and the texture and feel of the lipstick. So that's Fable. <laughs> the third one is Scandal. And Scandal is a really pretty uh, coral pink color. I don't know why I'm going back to my MAC ones, but they're like my scope of reference. Um, Max Vegas Volt is similar to this, so it's like a pinky coral. Uh, again, goes on really smoothly, and again, like I said, the trick for me, especially with these guys, is to put on um, a lip chat before. I've had incredibly dry lips, and go figure, I decide to film all these swatches. But, but my Prep and Prime um, has honestly been a savior, and it's it's helped have them glide on and not have me have too much tug and pull. I wonder why my videos take forever, it's because I ramble. So that one is Scandal. We're going to get through this. Scandal by Elamasca. Another lovely color. Uh, the next one is Over. And this is the only one I have a bit of a problem with. Not the lipstick itself, but the application. It's um, a very pretty light coral color. And I have problems with coral on my lips as it is. They all sort of like... Um, break up a little bit like I don't get as even of an application with them as the rest and I don't like know it, what it is because it's not only this one like I wore a YSL one the other day and I had the same issue I think it's my lips are so pigmented um, that it just I don't get as even of a color payoff as other ones but if you don't have super pigmented lips or if you sort of um, blanked out your lips with either a foundation or like a lip erase from MAC or something I don't think you'd have that problem but um, of the bunch, this one, I guess, would be my least favorite. So, yeah. Uh, what's next? Isis. Isis, I think, is the limited edition of the bunch. It's a, it's red. a lovely uh, color, like you see in the swatch. And what I like about this guy, I like a bold lip, so I really built it up um, in the swatch that you see, which is what I did also with the rest of the colors. But this one I found more than the rest. I really like pale or like just a light layer and dab it in you have that you know when we were kids or even now when we were kids I do this still to this day and you eat a popsicle and that color sort of transfers on your lips you get that like just faded pink or red popsicle 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 look on your lips you can get that so if you're like not a huge fan or still getting used to wearing bright colors this one is lovely because you could still wear a red lip without it being super bold but then, again, you can also build it up and make it super bold. So if you're shy of color or if you want sort of a more daytime look for the office or for work and then something to build up, if you're going out after, this is a lovely color for that. Again, these are matte lipsticks, so they don't transfer. I mean, it's not a uh, like a liquid lipstick like the Hourglass ones or the Lime Crime ones, which really are like super zero transfer. You're still going to get some transfer. It's just not as bad as sort of a super creamy lipstick, so it is nice to build up and, and go out with, too. I hope that's making sense. Okay, <laughs> you guys know me. I get excited when we talk about lipsticks, and then I ramble. Anyways, two more. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, ESP is the next one I want to talk about, and it's a beautiful purple with some sort of blue undertones like you can see so it has that really cool sheen to it. It's the one I was wearing in my skincare skin care routine video and if you haven't seen it I'll link it down below but it's gorgeous and I love wearing sort of bright funky purples and this one is just the perfect color and it's matte. What more could I ask for in a lipstick? I don't think anything. <laughs> so that's ESP and then the last one is the one I have on my lips which is Disciple. Yep, Disciple. And what I like about this is that it looks super, super scary in the tube, but it's not. And I really like rocking a dark lip, so I like love my browns and my burgundies and my plums. But I like the idea of doing a black lip, but I think in, when I actually put it on, I feel like it's super um, more goth than I want. Like, I want it to be dark, but not black black. Black just, I don't know. I probably will buy a black lipstick, but I like that this one isn't actually black. Like, it's a navy blue, so that it has a little bit of something, a little more depth, I think, than black. Um, watch, I'll buy Lime Crime's new black velveteen, and I'll be like, you guys, I love black lipstick. <laughs> Anyways, for now, I really like this guy. I forget that I have it sometimes, so it was nice when I did my shot in my collection. I remember that I had this guy, and I pulled it out a couple times. So, it's a lovely color. Um, again, it's buildable, so you could wear it a little lighter. Um, you could pair it with like a brown lip liner and just sort of put it in the middle to darken it out or something. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways you can wear this guy and it's not flaky um, or any of that kind of stuff. So those 
are my Il Masca lipsticks. My thoughts on them are they are lovely. If you love a matte lip, do it. Go for it. Invest in them. They're beautiful products. They last a long time. I'm trying to think. I don't think they really have a smell. Not really. There's not much of a smell to them, so that's nice. Um, the packaging is fantastic. Il Masca is a brand that I just adore, so big, big thumbs up on this end. Uh, let me know if you guys have any Il Masca lipsticks that you love. Uh, leave me those down below in the comments. I love getting comments from you guys. I feel like I don't get to interact with you as much, so please leave me comments. Please thumbs up for awesome lipstick colors. Um, if not Il Masca, let me know what lipsticks you guys just adore and gravitate towards. And before I keep rambling, and this ends up being a gigantic, incredibly long video, let me leave you with my, with my three pieces of positivity. So the first is a picture that I Instagrammed last, um, which is my Pelike uh, CDs finally arrived all the way from Norway. It's so cool. I got all these like really neat stamps and stuff on it. And his music is awesome. I've talked about it all the time. But I'll link his channel again below. So I've been listening to those guys, those guys, like the CDs. <laughs> and uh, and jamming out and having a good time, so it's been really fun. Uh, my second piece of positivity has got to be uh, some really well-timed texts from friends this week. I don't know if you guys get this, but with friends that are really, really close to you and know you really well, there's almost like a radar out there where it's like they know when you're having a rough day or they know when you need some extra love, and they just reach out in those perfect moments. So I had a couple of those this week, and it just... It helped me get through some stuff and, and reminded me how special and blessed I am to have them in my life. So that was amazing. And the third piece of positivity, I guess, on a completely lighter note, is my Aesop Control Cream, Control Gel. Um, I have been having crazy people breakouts on my face for the last couple days those like really ones that not only look horrible but like hurt like you just want them to go away <laughs> and that cream has been a godsend I put it on um my face on those spots and by the morning they're not gone but they've sort of gone down a lot and the, the pain for the most part is gone so again Miss Caroline Hirons is a genius I talk about her again in that skincare video and it was based on her recommendation actually that I recently um picked up that guy. So those have been my uh, three things, three positive moments, I guess, or three things I'm grateful for this week. As always, let me know what you're grateful for, and let me remind you that life is too short to wear boring lipstick. <laughs> Bye, guys.